got uh, my 17 inch Mac Pro it's a model identifier or as I like to call it the last one ever made as some of you may know they discontinued their 17 inch line I got the one with the bumped up processor and uh, I've upgraded the memory to 16 gigabytes we'll go over here and look at our uh, serial ATA I've replaced the uh, hard drive with a solid state this is the model here sand disk see its capacity is 480 gig or around about 500 gig uh, one other thing to note is uh, if you look at the uh, trim support it's not on supposedly you buy one from Mac it's enabled uh, you can get the same drives off the shelf and replace them yourself but it's not enabled I don't think it's going to be an issue and then here's the internal drive that come with the Mac it's an Atashi uh, the old platter style 7200 rpm we'll run a speed test on it speed test on it as well one other thing here is uh, your link speed the uh, newer Macs have 6 gigabit SAT enabled but not all the drives come that way as you can see the uh, one that it come with is 3 gigabit I however did upgrade as I mentioned to the solid state it is 6 gigabit SATA and it is negotiated at 6 gigabit I took out my CD-ROM and uh, put, initially put my hard drive, my solid state disk, in the little caddy you can buy. And uh, it negotiated at 3 gigabit. So for whatever reason, it couldn't achieve the full speed. So I had to uh, remove the hard drive from its uh, factory location, put it in the CD-ROM, and uh, put my hard drive in the other way. So let's get down to business and run this test. I'll show you the options. I'm going to use the 5 gigabit throughput. It's a more actual of what you'll get if you're especially moving big files. So the, the variance that I've seen doesn't vary that much, but we want to show you, you know, what you consider worst case scenario. Give you a more realistic speed. Choose your drive. We're on the solid state drive and start. The read speeds for this drive are unreal. The write speeds, there are drives out there that'll do better, but uh, overall, you can't complain. It was a real good price online, too. We're going to change our target drive. Now we're going to go to the internal drive. This is the one it come with. It was the uh, upgraded version, the 7200 RPM. So we'll select our internal Mac hard drive. This is the one it come with. It was upgraded from the factory. The default one is a 5400 RPM. This one's the 7200 at 750 gigs. So we'll choose it. And we'll start our test. It's pretty respectable speeds there.